Online Media Solutions are offering free web design. Email hello at omslive.co.uk or call 0161 818 8423 for more details. Well, this is Wembley 2019 FA Cup final day. But 20 years ago, and it is 20 years ago, it's hard to imagine that, City played here in the playoff final, going up from the third tier of English football, as it turns out, to the tier above and eventually where we are today. And where would City be without those heroes of 1999? 20 years ago. Well, I've been speaking Jesus, to some of the heroes Jesus, of 1999 Jesus, and their memories Jesus, of that great day. Jesus. Well, yeah, fans are often coming up and asking us about those times and also congratulating us saying, listen, without those times and those days and, and, and linking the connection to, to today and saying the team that we have today is through to us having the success we had back then. So, you know, when I think of the playoff final, you know, those moments were magical. Uh, to, to think you're two nil down and, uh, and to be able to pull that back was, was totally amazing and, and the team spirit that we had, you know, when I think of the players of Andy Morrison, uh, Kevin Horlock, Nicky Weaver, Richard Edgehill, you know, Gareth Taylor, the, the, the team spirit, Dickoff, the players that we had had such a fighting spirit uh, and when I look back, I'm not surprised that we were able to pull that back because we had that never say die attitude. It was a game we, I thought we should never lose, should should never be behind. But we was we were two 0 behind, and and then they put the board up, and uh, I said to Willie Donachie, if, if there's ever if we ever need a bit of luck, we need it now. And the ball got played out of play. I threw it back to somebody. They kicked it forward, and it was two one. The next thing it was two each, and oh god, it was unbelievable. A day I'll never ever forget. Ian. So you played a part in it then. I don't know whether I did or not, we all did, but uh, it was absolutely fantastic. A day I'll never forget. A full packed house at Wembley, I mean, that's, that's, this is what football's all about, and good memories for me for certain, for sure. Um, and obviously, it's my first time being here, I've never seen this stadium before. My only memories of Man City was Main Road. So me turning up here and seeing this beautiful stadium in front of me now, it just, it just shows how far the club's come in that, in that period. Who are your mates in that team then? All of them, because it was just a great team to play for. Great, great bunch of lads. Um, obviously, I came from Man U at the time on loan, um, but as soon as I walked into that dressing room, they took to me, they like won their own straight away, and, and, and that's probably why the club at that time got back to back promotions and gone back into the Premiership, because of the team spirit and the academy, um, yeah, the team spirit and, and, and the lads in that locker room were fantastic. And I think that's, that's what made the team in, in a way, and that's why we got promoted. Back to back. The, the expectations were huge on the players and the feeling that they'd let the group down, let the fans down, let every, the club down, you know, that's what, how we would have left there without a victory because the, the following we had from Christmas onwards was so great So uh, and also a relief, I think it was a relief from Joe, a relief from the, 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 the staff, the players, the board of directors, it's a massive relief that we've done it, big sigh of, and then just, uh, you know, move on again and I think what we did the following season you know, proves the strength of that um, group of players. I know you've played in a higher division, but was that the pinnacle of your career that day? Um, yeah, I think so. Do you know, for actually achieving something, as is every boy's dream to walk up the steps at Wembley and pick a trophy up. And, uh, you know, and I managed to do it, whether it was a second division playoff, it, you know. Um, yeah, it was a, just a really special day and the end of a, a long journey, do you know. And, um, and just very, very proud, do you know, very proud to have captain the club at Wembley and to have uh, actually won the game and then um, you know set us up for a you know a good period you know for those couple of seasons the fans never forget that time you know the, the coming together the you know the adversity and the and the spirit that was created from the board of directors to the players to the management to the fans everybody came in together and then um, started rowing in the same direction I think there was splits for a few years all over the place you know and um, but when everything comes together, it just shows the power that can, you know, what can be achieved. That famous Paul Dickoff goal, was that a moment of great inspirational passing from you, or was that just not the shot that you wanted? Well, it was, it was always the expected pass. <laughs> but listen, I had the shot. It was a great challenge. It deflected to Paul. And every time me talk, Paul talk about it, Paul says, you was passing it to me, wasn't you, Sean? <laughs> But a great challenge and deflects the pole.
But after Paul got it and, and obviously put it in, I, I never loved so much somebody so much. I mean, after that strike, I was just amazing to see it go in. Obviously, we knew the importance afterwards of, of winning the game, not just for the for the club, for us as players, but for the fans as well. Um, and the, the weird thing is, you know, even going back six, seven, eight years, uh, the goal's always been important. That game's always been important to the fans. But it seems to have taken on more importance now, you know, with the club qualifying for Champions League, winning Premier League. Uh, people sort of revert, revert back to that game as a turning point, whereas when they weren't winning things before that, it was always a goal that got us out of that division. Whereas now it seems to be the goal in the game and the win that, that's got us back to where it is now. Do you feel like it was your day, your group, that got City back to where they are now? Because it's been a long journey since, but it was a key moment, wasn't it? Has, it is. It's easy to say that now. Um, you know, there's been a lot of... A, a lot of um, ups and downs in the clubs um, from that point up, even up until now. You know, obviously the, the new owners have come in and not just changed the club, but, but changed everything around, around Manchester as well. So um, it's nice that people are thinking back to that, that as a turning point, but I think that's more to do with the, the success they've got now. Talking about the match at Wembley and just, I think, saving the final penalty and uh, sort of that rush of adrenaline that sort of ran through my body at that, that point, I think. Um, and yeah, it's... It's nearly 20 years ago, but you know, on one hand it seems a long time ago, but on the other it, it only seems like yesterday, and it's, uh, you know, it's been a big part of my life and something that you know people remember me for, and uh, whenever I'm in Manchester, people always want to talk to me about it. I mean, I was at the club for another eight years after that, um, and it probably wasn't even, not even after I left the club, actually retired from football, that more people spoke to me about it than ever really. Um, and it's, I can't believe that we're 20 years on and we're still talking about it and you know, people have got such fond memories of it and everyone's got their own little individual stories about what happened on, on the particular day and a lot of fans left and a lot come back in and, and what have you. So yeah, it was just a, just like a big pivotal moment in the club's history and you know, I suppose it was the first sort of rung on the ladder to, to where they are now and you know, the club's a million miles away from where it was then but you know, 20 years is a relatively short space of time. Um, but with the right investment and the right management, it just shows you what can happen. He was a great, great bunch of lads and good manager. And uh, we, we had a fantastic time getting to where we got to. And uh, now it's just unbelievable watching this team play. I made my, my debut for Plymouth when I was 17 at Villa Park. And I was a Plymouth fan all my life, you know. And I never forget that. That's that's there alongside that, you know, because on a per both of them on a personal level were just monumental occasions for me. Uh, sacrifices I've made in my life, and then the rewards of, you know, leading a club like Manchester City, and then also, you know, as a young boy, going out and playing for the club you loved and um, and making your debut, you know. And uh, I remember them clearly. I don't have many memories, but um, there are two of them. I take pride in the team we played in that 20 years ago and, and like if you look at the other clubs in, in the championship, Forest and Leeds and still some of these huge clubs they still can't get out of the, the lower leagues and championships but luckily we got out at the right time because again if, if that didn't happen in 99 at Wembley who'd know where we'd be now. Well, on behalf of a lot of City fans, thank you. No, appreciate it, thank you. <laughs> that era, you'd have been an even bigger hero if possible if you'd scored it. Are you ever jealous of the fact that Dickie did, got, got the goal and did that knee slide afterwards? No, I mean, listen, you know, in that season I scored 20 goals and I also had scored the goal against uh, Wigan to, to essentially get us there. So, was that you know, a handball, by the way, at Wigan? That was off the chest. I know Wigan fans still think it was a handball. It was off the chest. So, you know, my contribution to it was, was huge in terms of the season uh, to play the part of Gedness into the playoffs. So, you know, that goal was for Paul, it's Paul's moment, and, and look, you know, his contribution was huge and, and well done to him, and he deserves it. Was that the high point of your life, your career? I would say, yes, you know, getting to that point, getting promoted, um, well, getting to that stage to get promoted was huge. I would also say the first time of getting into the Premier League was, was a huge moment. Uh, so achieving that when we beat Blackburn was equally a high point in my career.
course, the Iraqi son in your life, son, Bob. Never get sick of saying this, never. Oh. So it was something that uh, was just off the cuff. Like I said, I had all this, you know, electricity, if you like, running through my body. Um, I, I sort of didn't want it to end. I, I genuinely didn't know what to do, so I just, you know, pulled a couple of funny faces, ran around like a, like a wally for a couple of minutes, and uh, and yeah, it was fantastic. I suppose the best thing I ever did because that's all that people want to talk to me about. But yeah, it, uh, you know, just great times, and, and when I think back now, just great memories. Memories in '99 was uh, I went to Wembley with a good pal of mine who we used to work with. He was actually a United fan. But he came to the game with us and obviously that was history in the making. It was the turning point for City and we are where we are now. You went to 99 playoff final with a United fan and you also went to the, the game three days earlier in, in Barcelona. In Barcelona because we, we, we'd agreed that we'd, we'd go to both games and the, the, the story is that in 99 when United won the treble in Barcelona, that particular night United won the final was Sir Matt Busby's birthday. Go forward three days at Wembley City versus Gillingham, it was Joe Mercer's birthday, so I think they were both looking down on us. Thinking now, 20 years on, on the anniversary, can you believe that the fortunes of the two clubs have changed so much? You couldn't have seen it at the time, I don't think anybody could, but you know, nothing lasts forever. You, you look back, everyone has the day. We didn't see it coming. We are where we are now, and, and 20 years ago, for City fans, I think most City fans of a certain age realise that was definitely the turning point. We wouldn't be able for that, them heroes of 99, would we? That's right, that's right. Yeah, Dickoff's goal and we were dead and buried. And here we are today, we've won the treble and we're going forward. Remember, online media solutions are offering free web design. Just email hello at omslive.co.uk or call the number 0161 818 8423 for more details.